Hello, Erie High School, and welcome to our 2020-2021 uh, Treasurer and Secretary Debates. Um, first order of business is we will introduce our candidates for secretary, and they will give their speeches. So first up is Leandra Thorpe. Mr. Rupp. For those of you do who don't know me, I'm Leandra Thorpe and I'm running for your 2020-2021 secretary. I don't know about you guys, but I love taking BuzzFeed quizzes. And whenever I do, I always get told that I'm a very responsible person and that I'm hardworking. But it's not just these quizzes telling me this. It's my family, friends, and teachers as well. Being the secretary for SUGO takes a lot of work and I'm always up for the challenge. These challenges include dealing with all the paperwork for the dances and other fun activities that SUGO puts together. To make sure these events go as planned, lots of communication is needed. And I'm always making sure that people receive all the information they need. Everyone is always getting annoyed with me for how much I go on about the fine details and text messages and emails. So everyone that needs information will be sure to get it. And if I am elected, everyone will know what is going on with the student government. As some of you may know, I used to get up first thing in the morning for a morning swim practice, which takes a lot of responsibility on my part to be at the pool at time. It isn't always easy getting up at 4.40 in the morning. I believe that you should vote for me because I would love to be your secretary as Ms. G loves her essential oils. My responsibility, <laughs> organization, dedication, and communication skills and great work ethic would make me the right choice for secretary. I'll be sure to be at the right place at the right time as long as you vote me for your secretary. All right. All right, thank you, Leandra. Um, also running for secretary, Riley Jackson. school. My name is Riley Jackson and I'm running for secretary. My last couple of years at Erie have taught me a lot about myself and how to be the best person I can be and I want to help make Erie the best school I can be. As secretary my main goal is to unify the student body and help the students create the change they want to see at Erie. I believe in the power of one person and I know that all of you can help make Erie a school we can be proud of. Every single one of you can create positive change at Erie. It starts with you. My main goal as secretary is to put you first, not my own agenda. I believe that the students deserve a larger voice at the school and should be heard on issues like if the lanyards ever happen again, <laughs> or school dances, school, any school event like homecoming, pep rallies, whatever. It should all be adapted to fit the modern student body instead of student bodies five years ago. The same ideas don't always work for everybody and I want to help adapt Erie to the student body that's in office right now. I want to be a secretary you can rely on. I'm here to support you and I'm here to make sure everybody feels supported. Regardless of whether you're on swim and dive, football, choir, theater, everyone deserves to have the school behind them and feel supported. I want to create a positive supportive environment here at Erie and I believe that we can all do that together. 
If there's one thing I can truly promise you, it's that I will be there for you. It might not be as promising as a bigger parking lot, which we need, or better school lunches, but it's absolutely guaranteed. Let's face it, we only have four years here and we should make the best out of what we have. I know we can do that together. And with all that being said, thank you for listening and stay smiley, vote for Riley. Thank you so much, Riley. Um, now, the first of our treasurer candidates, Gavin Beeler. Vote for Gavin! Gavin, Gavin is flawless. He has two penny purses and a silver Lexus. One time he met John Samuels on a plane and John said he was cute. Last week I saw Gavin wear a Panera shirt. So I got a job at Panera. I haven't seen him at work yet. <laughs> His favorite movie is Varsity Blues. He asked me how to spell varsity. I heard that his hair is insured for $10,000. One time, Gavin punched me in the face. It was awesome. Hey, I'm Gavin Beeler, and I'm running for your student body treasurer this year for next year, 2020-2021. Aside from this, the only thing I've actually ever run is for the ice cream truck, which is great. The reason, I, the reason I would be a great fit for this position is because I possess all the characteristics of a good treasurer. I'm hardworking, dedicated, and I'm great at learning new things. For example, I joined theater this year. I've never sang with sheet music, never danced on stage, never acted or had a play in a role, but I care about what I strive to do, and I get better every day. Joining theater showed me, showed me how hard students work at Erie and how passionate they are about their school and, how, and their opportunities that the school provides. This gave me a newfound respect for the students at Erie, and I will carry that over in my role as treasurer. A treasurer's job, aside from the regular student council duties, is to manage funds and keep track of how much money is coming in and out of student government. I've never cared for candidates who make empty promises that they will not keep, so I will spare you those empty promises and only give you this one. I promise that I will work together with the student body president, vice president, secretary, and class presidents to make sure that there are always funds for Erie and school activities. I will work hard managing your money and making sure it's used wisely, efficiently, and correctly. Not only this, but I will be your voice. I will contribute and advocate for this class and for my fellow classmates, and yeah. So vote for Gavin Beeler for treasurer. It just makes sense. Two things of note. Firstly, Colton Krill is also running for treasurer, but is not present as, at these debates. Um, and secondly, we are going to invite our candidates back up for the debate portion. As you know, I'm running for treasurer. And it's really important for me to understand your needs in the school to create a transparent budget throughout our school. So basically, with me as your treasurer, I'll do great things. I'm obviously a kind-hearted person. I can balance our money out. And it's really important to me that as a school, everything is to get put together correctly. And if we can balance our money out into a great way, that's it. So it means something important to me. It's something very important to me that you vote for me. Colton Krill, Treasure, 2020. Okay, so our first question today is going to be for Leandra Thorpe. What two qualities would you say define you as a leader? Um, I've always had that like strong leader sense. Whenever I'm in a group project, I'm the one that always likes to take control. Um, and so I just have that natural sense of a leader, and I just feel like I stand up when I need need to be heard and lead. Anybody else want to jump in there? I think that the two qualities that define me as a leader is my optimism and my perseverance. I like to see the best in every situation and I don't really like dwelling on bad things that are happening during the day and kind of see the light of the end of the tunnel when things are not going as planned necessarily. I also persevere. If there's something that I want to get done, I will get it done. And I don't really like stopping or giving up. 
And I think that those are two qualities that are really essential in a leader. I think I would be a great leader because I'm really dedicated to the school and I care about the people that are here. I mean, I'm gonna be here for the next two years, so I really wanna make the next two years great for not just me, but every single one of the members here at the student body. And I really just wanna make it a great time. Okay, um, Riley. What is something that the student body should know about you? Something the student body should know about me is that I've kind of been in every friend group situation you can possibly be in. I've jumped around all the time and I've gotten to hear a lot of different people complain about the school, but also say what they really like about the school. And I think that I have kind of the proper range of perspectives and kind of compromises that can create good change at Erie. I typically have more of an open mind, or I try to, so I'd like to try to get all the facts on the whole situation before I make up a decision. And so I think that would be is a really good trait because I don't just hear one side and automatically make a decision off of that. What was the question? <laughs> the question was, what is something the student body should know about you? Um, I. I really do like to think about things logically. I really don't like um, when people are dramatic about anything. It doesn't help any situation. And just like Riley, I've definitely been in every single friend group situation that you can imagine, especially this year, which is great. But I really, I really want to be an advocate for ending, um, you know, discrimination and really just being all inclusive instead of just you know, staying in your friend groups and not talking to people you don't want to talk to because you think that they're weird just because they dress different or they look different. Fair. Okay, secretary candidates, this one's for both of you. Um, what is a true sign of a person's ability to be organized? Um, I think one of the true signs is making sure that you like, get your homework turned in on time and you're not frantically like digging through a whole bunch of papers and all of your different folders when it's time to turn in that assignment. And I think that really shows how organized you are and put together you can be. I think that it goes beyond just papers. I think it comes down to when there's multiple events going on or there are honestly different issues going on and being able to organize them all out, sort them out efficiently and not fall behind and get everything done right on time. Excellent. And to our sole treasurer candidate here today, um, what does effective organizing and managing finances look like? Um, effectively organizing and managing finances looks like making sure that you're keeping track of how much money is being spent and how much you're getting back. I think it also has to do with a lot of um, fundraising and making sure that you're talking to everyone and making sure that you're getting all the information that you need so that you can do your job correctly and not letting anything stand in your way of that. Excellent. Um, and we're going to go back to you, Gavin. Sorry for piling it on here. Um, but what motivated you to run for this position? Um, I wanted to run for this position because it's one of the biggest positions in Stugo, and it, I really feel like this one you can actually make a difference in. I feel like if I really push forward and really work at this position, I can make next year a better year, possibly raise more money, make next year more about the students rather than about the school. Secretary candidates, you want to hop in there? What motivated you to run for secretary? I decided to run for secretary because Luke did a really good job this past year in the job, and it looked like it was so much fun. And I know that right now at Erie, I know that people have some issues with certain things going on, and I know that some people don't necessarily feel included. So I wanted to run to try and combat that issue and make sure that everybody feels like they have an inclusive environment here at Erie. Well, Ms. G originally gave me the idea, so she was my first little nudge. And then um, recently I've been taking risks and pushing, doing things that push me out of my comfort zone. And I thought this would be one, and it would also um, help the student go, or body be like, have a voice. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity. Thank you. So, okay, back to you, Leandra, and I think this is gonna be maybe our final question here. What unique ideas do you bring to student government? Um, well, I like to uh, make sure that um, all voices are heard. So any unique ideas that the student body brings upon me, I will definitely like welcome them. And any like ideas that pop into my head at the middle of the night, I would definitely be welcome to addressing them with the other members of student government and seeing what they would bring to the table. 
all of you, by all means. Okay. I think something that's unique about me that I'm bringing to student government is that I don't have an agenda. I don't have three or four things that I need to get done by the end of next year. I have just the willingness to listen to the student body and do what they want to do because I don't think that I should be in this office as somebody running this agenda on all these different things that I want to get done. I want to, get, I want to do what the student body wants to do and I want to be their voice, not just the representative. Um, something that sets me apart is I want to not just do my job as treasurer, but go above and beyond that. I want to make sure that everyone here is having a good time at school, making sure that people are talking to me of what they want for next year, and making sure that everyone, both in Stugo and outside in the um, student body, is okay with the decisions that we're making and okay with them. Because if they're not okay with them, then what's the point? Great. All right. Excellent job, candidates. Let's hear it from our massively full audience. All right, so thank you so much for your time. Again, we have Leandra Thorpe and Riley Jackson running for secretary, Gavin Beeler and Colton Krill, who is not present, uh, running for treasurer. Voting will take place on Tuesday, March 17th. And thank you, everybody, for your time.